I don't think I've tackled this one before. This panel suggests a method to access infinite energy. By heating up water while continuously adding salt, boiling point will rise indefinitely, preventing vaporization and creating some sort of perpetual energy source. The thinking isn't so strange, but it doesn't work. Enter boiling point. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, but not always, because the boiling point in this case depends on two factors, dissolved substances and atmospheric pressure. Fun fact, or is it? Since outer space is a vacuum, pressure is nearly zero. Thus liquids could boil on their own at normal temperatures. This was demonstrated in a frightening incident in a NASA vacuum chamber, where a technician's suit developed a leak. His saliva started boiling and he lost consciousness almost immediately after. Luckily, they were able to safely retrieve him. But I hope no one has to go through something like that ever again. When you add salt to water, it disrupts the water molecule's ability to escape into vapor. This happens because the salt ions form bonds with water molecules. As a result, water needs to be subjected to a higher temperature to vaporize. But the thing is, water can only dissolve a limited amount of salt. At 100 degrees Celsius, 100 grams of water can hold about 40 grams of salt. After this point, adding more salt just creates a pile of crystals at the bottom. A fully saturated salt solution at normal pressure only raises the boiling point to about 108 degrees Celsius. This is nowhere near infinite. Oh, and a quick reminder in case you forgot, we are actually boiling this water. We are inputting useful energy into a useless system. Or is it? Because a nuclear reactor uses a similar principle. Reactor heat boils water, creating steam that drives turbines to generate electricity. But that doesn't change the fact that, according to the laws of thermodynamics, the energy you get out can never exceed the energy you put in. Systems always lose energy, like heat loss to the surrounding bodies or some steam escape. The energy cost of continuously heating the solution using normal means would far exceed any energy you could harvest. 